Aloha from South Korea. Today I'm gonna make udon. My friend Denise in Los Angeles wanted to know how I make my udon noodles. I recently learned how to do this, so I mean no disrespect. I think the traditional authentic way takes two days, but my version takes three hours. No disrespect. I, I do it this way to satisfy my craving and maybe someday I will learn how to do the two-day version. But for today, we're going to do them the shortcut way. Let's get started. First, you need one cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and a third cup of water. I mix the salt in the water, then I slowly add it to the flour in a big bowl. I'll show you, I'll show you. And you also need a, look what I got, one noodle rolling stick. If you know more one noodle rolling stick, <laughs> just kidding. You can use a rolling pin. Because we're only going to do one small portion. If you know more this kind, then get one PVC pipe. Make sure it's clean. Do what you got to do to get it done. Let's get started. I use a glove because I don't like the stuff gets stuck in my nails. Give the water. About half a teaspoon of salt. Let, let that dissolve. And then I just put a little, mix it up. Add water a little at a time. Keep mushing it up. So you want to keep kneading it till it gets a little rubbery. I guess that's the best way to say it. I can take these off now. And I kind of round it. It's okay, it's a uh, lumpy bumpy. Because we're going to let it rest for two hours. After it's rested for two hours, we're going to step on it. That's what I said, we're going to step on it. We're going to put it in a plastic bag, fold it over, step on it, flatten it out, fold it over, step on it, flatten it out. i show you. Put it in a plastic bag and you step on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Clean your surface, your table or your counter. Make sure you got flour. Put a little bit on the table. Place your dough. Put a little bit on the dough. Let's start rolling. We're supposed to get it into like a square shape. Do the best you can. Are you supposed to get square for one ball? Practice. <laughs> Okay, 
Once you get it flat, how you like it, it's supposed to be 1 16th of an inch. I like mine not too thin and not too thick. And don't forget, it's going to puff up when we boil it, so keep that in mind. After you've flattened it out, you get a cutting board, and then, yes, you flour the cutting board, and then you flour the top, and we're going to fold it like a fan. Watch. Origami. Now we're going to cut them. Then you cut it. I'm just going to make half. Because this is two portions. So, I went cut them to the size I like. I know, kind of uneven, but I'm still mastering the art of udon making. You unfold them. Now, remember, this is enough for two portions. Um, so I only went cut half because I have put noodles in the refrigerator before and the next day they all stuck together. So since it's just me today, because my husband is golfing, four, I'm going to save this piece flat, unfold them, in one plastic bag. And then tomorrow, for lunch, when my husband is golfing, I can get fresh udon. <laughs> Let's go boil them. While this is boiling, let it boil for about 10 minutes. I'm going to make my dashi. I keep my dashi very simple because I use what I have and what I like. In my dashi, I just have chicken broth, ginger. If you like, you can grate them. I just chow and slice in and um, show you to taste. Keep it simple. And then my ingredients for my udon, simple. Tempura flakes. I love tempura flakes. Last night I made salmon tempura. First time. Came out pretty good. So what did I do with the leftover batter? That's right. I went fry them up for my tempura flakes because I knew I was going to eat udon. So keep it simple. But you, you can do whatever you like. You can put in chicken, egg. Ooh, I have green onions. You can put in other vegetables. Sky's the limit. But for me, today, I'm going to keep them simple. I'm going to eat now. Woohoo! It's so fun to make your own udon. Try it! Enjoy, Denise. Enjoy, everybody. Aloha from South Korea. Mm-hmm.